Good afternoon, Dr. Ship. How are you today? Hi, Kathy Pettit. Doing great today. I'm, I've been wondering all week if you're ready for our challenge. Uh, I am ready for the throwdown challenge. Um, for any new listeners or just a general reminder to our viewers that you challenged me last week um, about music and, and finding some vinyl. Um, now, hold on here. Um, let me do right. this. Uh, and here, do you see it? I can't see. Oh, here it is. There we go. Sticks. Sticks. Um, Sticks is, uh, I, I actually don't have the vinyl record here. It is in storage at my mother's and she's on lockdown, um, as she should be as a, an elder in our community. But yeah, I think Sticks beats, um, your album any day. Sammy Davis, but, Sammy but Davis. wait, I, I just thought I would add a, a little bit here, Kathy, to let you into my background. So um, <laughs> oh. this is the Breakdance album um, with Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. And I was the only kid, I guarantee you, in Ravenna, Nebraska, that was learning all of the moves to breakdancing. I, and, and it took me a while. I had my cardboard that I would set up. Oh, no. oh yeah. So there you go. That's a little more insight into what was going on. And did you have the parachute pants to go along oh, with yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Bla in fact, they were black with red zippers. OK, yeah. I, yeah. All right. Well, uh, now we all have me. that fun image um, to go off of. Um, but, you know, on a serious note, music um, brings a lot of joy, and it's one thing that we can um, all do right now to help manage our stress, whether it's, um, you know, classical music, opera, um, really bad breakdancing music, um, you know, <laughs> absolutely. Um, you know, when I was uh, director of Academic and Career Development Center, I used to always love to ask questions to throw people off a little bit in their interview. And that would be, you know, if you could think of an anthem song for yourself, what would it be? What do you think it would yours be, Dan? Ooh, you know, I think about this a lot. Um, I would probably today pick... Um, Rain King by the Counting Crows. I, I like that it's a right time in my life, kind of takes me to a fun, happy place with a lot of friends. Um, I, I like the band and I like the words. I mean, I, so it's, it, yeah, it makes me smile. Nice. My, my go-to would be um, Black Eyed Peas, Where's the Love? Oh, very cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That makes you smile, right, too? Right. And it fills um, you with, with some joy. And those are simple things that we can all do. Um, the other night, my husband and I were finding songs on our cell phones and just playing like the first three seconds. And what yeah. song is that? And yeah, you know, um, so it, things don't have to be complicated in this time of um, physical distancing. There are ways um, that we can all come together and music is one of them. Um, but today we're also going to be talking about social wellness. And we have two very special guests with us today, um, two amazing students okay. from UNO, two amazing examples of our Maverick Magic students. Um, and, and we have um, Vanessa and Jabin with us. Um, welcome to the Staying Well at UNO webinar. Hey, Dan and Kathy, how are you guys? We're good. We're good. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry if I popped in too soon. <laughs> you didn't. You're great. You did great. No, you did great. Oh, we love that you're with us. And and right, not only amazing students in their their own right, but I think both of you just won the election, right? So we're talking <laughs> to the president. Yes. Yay! Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, you know, this is fun if you've been been watching. I, I don't know if, um, you know, vinyl is not going to be as relevant to you two, but um, I like Kathy's question maybe to get uh, the audience to know a little bit about you. If you had to have your, your theme song that follows you around, what would you pick today? Do either, this is a impromptu, unscripted 
question, but I'm curious if you could identify your, your song. Or your happy song. What yeah, song yeah. do you listen to that's like, oh, that's my jam? <laughs> I kind of knew you guys were going to ask this, and so I should have had something ready, but... <laughs> I, I can tell you how to think about it. <laughs> okay. Go, Vanessa, if you know. When you said it, I actually thought, I don't know why, but the first one that popped in my mind was, Here Comes the Sun. Oh, and that's awesome. Great awesome. yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. That's, that's a, a great good one. Song. That's a good one. Yeah. And a good reminder that regardless what we're going through, the sun always shines. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yes. Okay, Javen, come on. You got your Pressure's whole catalog. On, man. You got your whole catalog there. What, I'm what very, I know, I listen to so much, so like I'm so stumped. <laughs> but um, I think, I don't know. I love that you're really like, this is going to push him, right? There we go. <laughs> Um, but I really like uh, Chance the Rapper, like motivational um, songs and progression and, um, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know, something from Chance the Rapper, like okay. whether it's Blessings or like his newer songs, um, I don't know. But That's yeah. good. Yeah, so that, that totally counts. You get to you get to drive that yourself. Yeah. Um, and, and Chance is pretty cool too. There's oh, little, you know about Chance. I well, come wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't see that back in the day I was listening to Grandmaster Flash. Oh, yeah. And yeah. To drink it, right? Come on. <laughs> now I don't have right. any video to show how successful I was one way or the other. Uh, right. Well, you but just that, got that much cooler to me then. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm a little old school. Well, let's let's talk it. So this is really what it's about, right? Is we spend a lot of time, hopefully, um, opening up people's eyes to how to stay well, um, not just during these times, but what, what's to come into the future. And, you know, you two are student leaders representing the voices of, of the campus. And so we thought we'd start with just, you know, checking in with you to, to see. So you were elected. And what, you know, what are you thinking that you really want to do this, this next year? What do you hope to accomplish that um, our, our listeners, the people that are watching might, might uh, interest them. Um, so yeah, it's going to look very different than what we originally planned. Um, but, you know, we're going to be um, going along with the adjustments that um, administration is putting out. And um, I'm really glad that we have the new planning committee that we're all a part of, um, planning on the onboarding process and everything. Um, so I think I really want to focus on um, uh, making sure that the transition into, um, like for new students is going to be, uh, as easy and as, um, uh, nav navigate, easy to navigate as possible. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a, that's a huge lift, right? I mean, I think that so many people that, that bump into Kathy and I know we talk uh, at length about lifeguards and lifeboats. And so making sure that every student has somebody that maybe it's a peer mentor, or maybe it's, you know, we have so many great programs with Goodrich and TLC that have traditions right. caring uh, for each other and, and students. And we want that for every student. And I know, I know that you do. Um, that's a priority for sure. Yes. Yeah. I'm actually part of TLC. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of going off what Javen said, I think kind of just, being creative in what we're doing to get back in the groove of classes, whether it be all back on campus, online, whatever direction it goes, because who knows what direction we'll end up, you know, like a month, two from now. Um, but I think kind of just finding ways to be creative to do the best we can with what we have. Um, I know that's definitely something that as vice president, I'll be in charge of the Freshman Leadership Council. So right. I think being yeah. creative is definitely something that I'll have to incorporate in that just because if we um, keep that remotely. We'll have to find ways on how can we engage in community service remotely. So I think it's all about creativity, which is a challenge, but in and of itself, you know, it'll be fun. You gotta branch out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, following that theme of, um, I asked, you know, Dan, what his theme song was and, you know, um, great questions um, that students might have in interviews. Um, I just think about what you all are living through now as students. And so when you get those um, 
inevitable questions in a job interview about tell us a challenging time or tell us the time that you had to demonstrate flexibility or you had to completely change plans at the last minute you know those are tough questions for young people sometimes because their life has gone along the way they planned they graduated from high school they went to college my goodness think about the times that you all are living through now and the pandemic right yes. <laughs> and <laughs> right and so vanessa to your point about creativity and doing the best with what we've got um you know you're living history and you're finding a way to make it happen um and i i really believe we're all going to be stronger for this um that's not to diminish the fact that right now there are tough times um but we're in it together yeah well, you know, this is also right We're, you know, this is a show focused on wellness. So yeah. what like what are you two doing to, to stay well and and connect with others and and take care of yourselves? What, what's going on with you two? Yeah. Well, um, so I'll just like say the we had our final or I guess our end of the year um, celebration for student government. Um, which ended with the beginning of the year celebration for the new incoming Senate. Right. And so me and Vanessa, we like ordered each other food and we tried to like make it as fun as possible. Um, but with that, um, making sure that we're um, getting ahead of planning things out for um, our exec board that is um, oncoming and uh, making sure that the process is as manageable as possible. So and then yeah so yeah. that's kind of cool like you're you're doing you're thinking about others jabin so oh, yeah. in most of your answer it was about others so we let's go to you vanessa and then then you have to come back jabin and say <laughs> what you're doing for you to stay well jabin's just a great dude so that's why that's his automatic <laughs> answer <laughs> gotta keep him healthy and well though right yeah so we got to yeah. take care of himself and we'll give him some time to think about it <laughs> yeah. What about you, Vanessa? What are you doing? Is there something that you go yeah, for? Yeah, routine. Or... Yeah. So I actually really appreciate my hourly planner, which at the like say a month or so ago, it had a lot more things in it because now a lot of those have been canceled. But you know, I still have classes and finals, so I worked that in, and now meetings since having been elected vice president. So I think being able to still keep up with that routine, even though it's definitely changed since like two months ago. Um, I think that and then trying to spend some more time outside because typically, you know, I'd be on campus all day inside buildings, classes. So I get to do that more now. So I try to go on more runs. Um, I also tried planting an asparagus plant. So oh. we'll see how that goes for my first time gardening, if you can call it that. <laughs> I love it. Is there anything else? Is so it's asparagus and or is it just asparagus? No, just asparagus. <laughs> oh, I love that. Well, we're going to hold you. We're going to check in with you frequently. All right. Thanks. Doing, right? <laughs> so, no, Jake, yeah, like, so yeah. I just bought a new planner, like this hourly planner. Um, it doesn't start till July, though, so <laughs> I won't be able to get into it then, until then. Um, but uh, I definitely, like, you can see, like, my posted notes. I have those literally all over my room to try to keep me organized. Um, but just to make sure I have um, a good like mental state, uh, I make sure like all my windows are open and um, I try to change up my um, scenery. So I'll go to the living room or the dining room and go outside um, and not just be confined to my room. Um, so that's been really helpful. And it's actually like really good, like peaceful experience actually for me, so. Yeah. Yeah, you know, both of you are sharing examples of the importance of the dimensionality of wellness. Um, it doesn't surprise me from the two of you as um, student leaders that we're hearing a lot about what fills your bucket is giving to others. Um, and that is social wellness, but you also have to take care of physical wellness and um, emotional wellness and mental well-being. And we're always going to have a piece of the pie that's a little 
bit bigger, right? Um, but eventually, if we don't fill some of those other areas, um, we deplete ourselves. So it's, you know, we're never perfectly well-rounded, but to dip into some other areas of wellness are important. So I heard both of you talking about environmental wellness, which we've talked about on our show. Um, and um, Vanessa, did you say you, you're a runner? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you and Dan have that in common. I am not a runner. I'm a runner yeah. too, so I you guess are, you're David? Okay, <laughs> well, you guys are going to have to spur me on. I did move the treadmill up into my bedroom. I um, as my <laughs> you got love this, right? Oh, okay. So, okay, so this, so if you're a runner, right, you know that you have like a buff, right? And oh. I haven't got my hair cut for quite a while, so it's it's looking a little scraggly. So I oh, use I can't even tell. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying there, David. <laughs> no, well, like literally. I know. No, I'm just kidding. So, so here's the deal. So um, it works for my my face covering as well, right? And I had it. I I just came from a meeting with Dr. Gold on on campus, and I we were on another Zoom call, and it was sitting here like this, and and somebody goes, "Are you wearing an ascot?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like too. It's all fashion, right? Total fashion forward during these tough times. Nice, nice. Dan is taking care right. of his fashion wellness. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, one question that, that I'm curious about from both of you is that, uh, you know, our jump to remote teaching and learning, um, how has, you know, do you have any tips? How has that gone for both of you? And maybe any tips of how it's working and, and other students might be interested in hearing from you too. Yeah, Vanessa, you, you have something. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So I think, like I mentioned, um, having an hourly planner just to stay on top of it, just because I know the transition at first, like the lack of structure was definitely different. So I had to make sure to get my things on my planner and kind of just from what was left of the like meetings or events that I had to go to for the month of March, um, kind of just scratch those off and find other ways to replace them. So I still had something to look forward to, maybe like a run or cleaning my room or, you know, just those things I can do within, you know, maintaining social distancing. Um, and I mean, I'm lucky that I have reliable internet and, um, you know, like my laptop. So for like in that aspect, I wasn't very concerned, but more so kind of adjusting to those online classes any like observ I'm an education major so I had a few observations I had to do so kind of just finding alternate assignments to those but I think um, kind of staying in touch with my professors also I'm in the Goodrich scholarship program so like having them is definitely helpful I'm really grateful for having all of the member the faculty members and staff of the Goodrich program if I did ever have any questions especially with like advising that had to be on all um, online now so kind of just looking for the support systems and keeping myself busy within you know maintaining social distancing yeah awesome answer Javen what yeah. anything you would add to that? Um, so I guess a tip would be um because I'm just I'm used to taking online classes I was already taking two online classes the remote thing is a little different because you still have to show up for the zoom calls so um that's kind of been an adjustment but I definitely try to get outside of my bedroom and not sit in my bed because um, like I know there's studies about mixing your place of rest with your place of work and how that's like, you know, you don't want to mix those two because it can be very detrimental detrimental to um, the way you sleep and the yep. way you rest. So um, definitely kind of get away from that. Um, but it's been an adjustment and, you know, like Vanessa said, you got to work with what you got. So. Yeah, well, you you two, I mean, just know, I mean, we, we've we known you prior to being elected. And, it, you know, this is going to be a real lift for all of us over the next couple semesters. And, um, I you know, I couldn't think of two better students to have as partners to help us think through it. Because, you, you know, we've talked about this before. You know, sometimes faculty, staff, and administrators think we kind of know how students think. And that's that's a, a pretty big error. So I, I think what we're always we've been successful at UNO is making sure student voices are critical to 
the the solutions that are developed and so your, your voices and a lot of other students are going to be critical to helping us think through how to really uh, create a safe and successful environment over the next year so um, get outside it's a beautiful day go for a walk or a run if you haven't yet um, but I just want to say on you know behalf of Kathy and I thank you um, not only for your service but for being such great partners yeah thank you guys thank too. you all right you take care take care thank you Bye. stay well see you